Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Norscott Caterpillar D8R uh, Series 2 Dozer. Uh, this dozer, this is, I have this in the camo, woodland camo version. There's also a regular version. I don't think they make a weathered of it. But I, I really like the detail on this. It's pretty cool. And then you can see, like, inside the cab and everything. But so I'll do go from uh, front to back. So here's what the front looks like. You have your blade there. And then you got your two rams. And then this the series two has these. You got your lights on top. Actually, almost all the all the all the dozers have lights, but these are different. They have these little things here, and then you got your lights, and then you got the cords in between them, and then that go right to the uh, battery. Uh, here's a side angle of it. I actually bent part a little bit bent to this, so that's why they're kind of off. But here, the blade. Uh, the blade does the blade doesn't move here it moves forward it curls like that Oops, sorry. and then uh, it also moves up barely it, like there's not much to it which see that's pretty much off the ground and then it can uh, it kind of goes down just a little bit so, uh, it's not, I mean, I think, I don't think, I mean, they're not really that accurate on that. I know dozers go a little bit higher than that, but whatever. And then it doesn't, it kind of lets you, uh, move the blade kind of that way, but not really. Uh, the tracks are rubber on this one. I know North Scott, you know, some of the newer stuff is actually metal. But I just, this one, let's see, rubber. Here's a side view of it. This, you know, you got your handles up here, pretty much. You got your steps right there. Kind of walk up. And uh, this, I'm not really sure what that's for. You got a light up here, which is really cool. Part new on the Series 2 there. You got your light uh, right there. Uh, so yeah, camo on every part of this. I'm going to go to the back here. Here you got your three shank ripper. Moves up and down. And then the ripper curls a little bit. Hold on here. It curls. I kind of need two hands, but. So yeah. You got your ripper, I mean, you got your lights in the back. There's also one on this side, but I lost that one. And, uh, yeah, these shanks don't come off. So, that's pretty much an overall view. In here, in the collection, I'll show you. Here's, I also have a Camo 23. I'm going to make a, um, a review on these. So that's pretty much it. I know they make a 140H blade that's camo, woodland camo, and then I know they make a 980 loader that's camo. So that's, i kind of wanting to collect, make the, do a collection of the camo. So, uh, and I know now they're making a new, just, like, one of the new era, kind of, it's not really camo, they're just tan. That's kind of what they have in like war in Afghanistan and stuff so it's really cool and then same with the all pretty much all the camo versions the decals are not there the D8R and all that it's not there so just to save you know so I know what it is I actually wrote it on the bottom 150 scale and all that uh, so yeah overall I really like it but just saying, these lights are very fragile. So are these. I had another D11. I lost some of these lights and stuff. So it's very fragile, but most of the North Scott stuff is. So, yep, that's pretty much the cat. North Scott Cat D8R 150 scale Series 2.